Good morning, everyone. This is Harald Lambos Pissuros, senior analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 18th of uh, January. Bank of Canada to stand pat and maintain its neutral bias. Today, the Bank of Canada meets uh, for the first time in 2017 and is expected to keep its policy unchanged. Bearing the mixed economic data that came out since uh, the latest meeting and that uh, Governor Polos indicated in relatively recent comments that uh, it would take an economic shock for the bank to ease again, we share the view that the Bank of Canada is likely to take, to take the sidelines and we expect the bank to maintain its overall uh, neutral bias. The fact that uh, oil prices have remained elevated following the OPEC uh, consensus supports further the case for no action and an overall neutral tone by the Bank of Canada, considering that uh, oil is Canada's biggest, biggest export uh, by far. Dollar cut traded lower yesterday after it hit a resistance at the crossroad of the short-term downtrend line taken from the peak of the 28th of December and the prior long-term uptrend line drawn from back at the low of the 3rd of uh, May. Then the rate uh, tested uh, again the 130.30 support and during the Asian morning Wednesday it rebounded somewhat. As long as the rate is trading below the aforementioned uh, short-term downtrend line, we would consider the near-term outlook to stay negative. However, we would like to see a decisive break below the psychological zone of 130 before we assume a trend resumption. In the UK, Prime Minister Theresa May delivered her keynote speech on Brexit yesterday, outlining what her negotiating objectives uh, are uh, moving forward. Most of the key points were already known to market participants following leaks uh, hours before the speech, while hard Brexit whispers also dominated uh, news headlines over the weekend. At the event, the Prime Minister confirmed much of uh, the hard Brexit rhetoric that everyone expected her to deliver, and as such, the reaction in the pound was a sell the rumor by the fact move. The pound surged during and after the speech, perhaps due to short covering. The rebound may have also been fueled by May's point that the final Brexit deal will be put uh, to a vote in both houses of Parliament. Focus of uh, sterling traders now turns to the Supreme Court's decision later this month on whether Parliament should have a say in triggering Article 50. Moving to the US, uh, the US dollar came under renewed uh, selling pressure yesterday following some comments from US President-elect uh, Trump that uh, American companies cannot compete uh, with their Chinese counterparts because the US currency is too strong. Perhaps uh, most importantly, the president-elect said uh, the U.S. might need to get the dollar down if uh, changes in tax policies drive it uh, even higher, which in our view brings to, brings to the table a small possibility of FX intervention. This is something that has not happened since the Clinton administration. However, for now, the forthcoming direction of the currency is likely to be determined by some comments from uh, Fed Chair Yellen today, as well as Trump's uh, inaugural speech on uh, Friday. Euro dollar traded higher yesterday, breaking above the resistance, now turned into support barrier of 106.85, but the advance was halted by the upside uh, resistance line drawn from the peak of the 5th of uh, January. The price structure on the 4-hour chart still suggests uh, that the short-term outlook remains uh, positive. Nevertheless, we see the likelihood of a minor setback uh, for now, before and if the bulls decide to take control again. As uh, for the rest of uh, today's highlights, from the UK we get employment figures for November. The forecast is for the unemployment rate to have ticked up, while average uh, weekly earnings are expected to have accelerated slightly. We share the view for accelerating wages, while we see the risks surrounding the unemployment rate uh, forecast as uh, skewed to the downside. Our view derives from the UK services PMI for uh, November, which indicated, that, uh, which indicated the fastest employment growth since April, as well as uh, further increases in labor costs. A positive surprise in the unemployment rate could extend the pound's rebound caused by Theresa May's uh, speech. In the US, Fed Chair Yellen will speak on monetary policy, so we will look for comments with regards to her view on uh, the Fed's uh, rate path. Considering that Yellen has been relatively hoggish following the December FOMC meeting, we would expect her to maintain her overall, her overall optimistic tone, something that could support some of the dollar. As for the economic data, December's CPI is uh, due out. The forecast is for both the headline and the core rates to have risen, which may help the dollar to strengthen as well. 
Besides uh, Chair Yellen, we have uh, two more Fed speakers, Dallas, Dallas Fed President uh, Robert Kaplan and Minneapolis Fed President uh, Neil Kashkari. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.